So if you love to cook, but you're just a little bit confused about what spices are good for what kind of recipes you're using, I have an expert right next to me today. This is Yaniv Cohen. He is the spice detective, and we have his book here today, My Spiced Kitchen. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank this you for having me. This is gonna be fun. I wanna talk spice. So now yes. you were from Israel. Israel, and then you immigrated here to the United mm -hmm. States. So tell me a little bit about Israel, and what kind of spices are you guys using over there that we don't use here? So we have a lot of Middle Eastern spices. Um, you know, Israel is right there, and you have people who came to Israel from Iraq, Tunisia, Morocco, and everybody brought their own spices, their own cuisine. And what we have is an amazing um, collection of cuisines, food, spices, and herbs. And this has been my passion since I was very, very young. So what I wanted to do with this book specifically is to introduce the American reader, the American cook, the American food enthusiast, the foodies, to the world of spices. Some people get intimidated and they buy a spice, they don't know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. They heard turmeric is anti-inflammatory agent. So what do you do with it? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting spices out there, but then if you don't know what kind of food it goes with, what it complements, what it doesn't complement, you're kind of just stuck. So let's talk a little bit about some of these recipes. I'm gonna go back to the beginning because you had, um, I'm gonna say it wrong, but we use it a lot in my family because I'm Italian. An anise? An anise. 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 So tell me a little bit about anise because so, it's an interesting spice that I think kind of gets a bad rap. Uh, yes, I, I think people people are, you know, they, and again, that goes for a lot of spices. People uh, heard about the spice, they're afraid to use it, mm -hmm. you know, and what people need to do is first of all, smell, look, taste the spice. And then what this book does is actually makes it, makes it easier for them. So the book is divided into 15 chapters. Each chapter has, is, is dedicated to one spice. Mm. History, flavors, and some of the health properties, the nutrient uh, in each spice. So after you know the intro, we bring, or oh, I wrote a few recipes that are simple, easy to follow, and they take the guessing work out of the spice knowledge. Mm. So you get um, knowledge, you get to practice your spices, you get familiarized with the spices. Some are spice mixes. And, and the, the, you know what? Sometimes you go to a dinner party and you bring a bottle of wine and the bottle of wine is gone within an hour. When you bring a cookbook that introduces mm -hmm. the host or the hostess to a world of spices and new recipes, something exotic, something they might not be familiar with, this will stay with them forever. And some of the, the other thing that's really important is the health, you know, properties and having a healthy cuisine. It's delicious, it's nutrient, it's beautiful. Spices bring color and they bring aromas. And you know, you can just garnish the, the, the whole dish with just a little bit of spices. All right, so what's your favorite spice? I know it's hard. It's like choosing your favorite kid, right? Exactly. I know. You know, I have a story with turmeric. Um, when I was very young, I, you know, I didn't know anything about spices. You know, I was learning from my mom. But um, I was playing outside, and I, and I fell down. And I got a cut. I, was, I fell on a piece of glass. Mm. And I got cut, and blood was gushing out. I didn't know what to do. I was kind of shocked. My neighbor saw me from the window. She rushed outside with a jar of turmeric. She took the actual turmeric powder, put it on my wound, and to my surprise, the blood stopped. Hmm. And I had no idea that turmeric has such powers. Uh -huh. And it's just knowing about all these beautiful spices that you can see on the screen and how to cook with them, how to make shakes with them. It really brings a lot of love, passion, knowledge, and just health to your life, to your cuisine, to your home. And I think that's really what makes me really happy is sharing that knowledge with all of you. And that's my mission. I was gonna say, tell me one of your favorite uh, stories with your mom in the kitchen. What, some of my favorite stories? Just one, just one. <laughs> um, every Thursday, we would cook for Shabbat dinner the next day. And one of my favorite things to do was take uh, either fish or meat, and ground it from scratch with my mom, adding all the spices, adding the onion and the garlic and the herbs, and she would make those incredible meatballs. Mm. 
And the smell in the kitchen was so amazing and really connected me to the, the world of cuisine. That's my, why I became, became a chef. Yeah, so many of us, are, a lot of our memories are tied to food and are tied to, you know, good memories of being in the kitchen with our families. I'm from an Italian heritage, uh -huh. so we are always in the kitchen. That's kind of where we spent the majority of our time. Exactly. And every meal that I can cook today, I learned from my mom. So being able to pass down tradition and pass down your knowledge of different spices and how they can help and make your foods even that much better is really exciting and is a great thing that we're able to share here today. Um, we're going to be back because Yaniv is going to help us with some other things in the kitchen in a minute, so stay tuned.